Hello, welcome. Try this problem out. Press pause and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, let's let's start by reading the problem. It says that data collected about jogging from students with two older siblings are shown in the table below. So what we know is we have two scenarios. We have where students jog and where they don't jog and whether or not they're siblings, their brothers or sisters, if neither of them jog, if one of them jog or if two of them jog. And what they would like to know is whether a student with two older siblings is more likely to jog if one sibling jogs or both siblings jog. Justify your answer. Well, I'm going to go and guess it's going to be both sibling, siblings um, jogging because uh, that will be more of an influence on them. But let's, let's see what happens. Um, so first of all, what are we actually going to be finding? So we're going to solve this correctly, and then I'm going to spend a little bit of time at the end of the video going over uh, a common mistake in this problem to understand why it's not correct. Okay, so we are looking at the problem that they jog, right, that they are a jogger, given that one of the siblings jog, versus the probability that they jog, given that two of the siblings jog. Now, before I start to analyze, well, analyze all of this stuff, what I like to do is figure out what are my marginal probabilities? What's going to go here, or frequencies in this case? What's going to go in this column if I add up all the numbers in these rows? And then what's going to go down here in these columns when I add up uh, these columns right there? So, and then altogether, how many are there? So I'm going to add little extensions here. I'm just going to take my calculator out and add them up real quick. So let's do that. So let's add them real quick. We've got 1168 plus 188. 1356, okay, and then we've got 1823 plus 416. We've got 2239, so we got 1356 and 2239. Now, I I know that I don't even need all these things, but I, I think that often setting these problems up is pretty helpful. Here we've got 1780, and then in our, in our rows here, Oops. In our rows, we've got to add these groups of three numbers. So we've got, I'm just a little bit faster, 1168 plus 1823 plus 1380. Okay. Then we've got 188 plus 416 plus 400. Okay. And then we've got 1356. Bear with me here. Plus 2239 plus 1780. Enter. And I'm going to take a screenshot of this so we just have the data right there. Okay. We don't need it that large. Reduce the size. Oop. Okay. And the last thing, move it over out of the way. All right, so all of that work, what do we know? We know that there are 4,371 students who do not jog, 1,004 students who do jog, and 5,375 um, students in total. Why is this relevant? Well, you might have solved it a different way than I did. I just want to make sure that our totals add up. And all I'm going to look at right here are the conditional probabilities. So what are they? Well, the first one is they jog given that they have one sibling who jogs. So we're looking at the category here, one sibling who jogs, and that's out of 2239. There are 2,239 students who do jog. But one, there are 2,239 in the category where one sibling jogs. All right. Out of that category, um, there are precisely 416 who jog. So if you knew that out of the 2,239 students who have one sibling that jogs, 416 of them do jog, you divide those two numbers and you get that probability. And then you repeat the process Excuse me, for both students both siblings jogging, where there's 1,780 students who have two siblings that jog, and then out of them, there are 400 who jog. Now, at first glance, you might say, well, 400 is smaller than 416, but they're different proportions. So here, this is about, let's say, 0.225, and this is about 0 0.18, uh, say 1.9, it's rounding, no, say 0, sorry, 0 0.1. Eight six. Now, you could just say to justify it. Well, 
0.225 is greater than 0 0.186. Therefore, it's more likely that if they have two siblings who jog, which makes sense, that they would also jog. And that's the way I'd solve it. Now, what's a common error here that you want to be aware of? Well, and I, and I even first did this when I set this up. Um, I kind of did it backwards. I said, what's the probability, and I'll write in red because this is a mistake now, that one sibling jogs, given that we're looking at the joggers, right? And here, if you look at this, well, if you look at that, this is incorrect. If you look at all the people who jog, you got 1,004 of them. There are 416 who have one sibling that jogs, okay, out of 1,004. And then if you repeat the process, you say, well, what's the probability that they have two siblings that jog, given that you know they're a jogger? Okay, so there are 1,004 people that jog. Oops, 1,000. That was terrible. I'll fix that. Probability that two, scroll down, jog, two siblings jog, given that you know they are a jogger. This is such a confusing, the, the language is so confusing. Okay, so there's 1,004 students who jog in total, and out of them, there are 400 who have two siblings that jog. Now, if you, interestingly, if you look at this, it looks like you're actually less likely, right, to jog if you have two siblings. You might think that at first, because what this is saying is 400 out of 1,004, that's smaller than 416 out of 1,004. So, like, what's going on right here? Well, what this is saying, if you think about it, this is saying, what's the probability that you took all the joggers that there are, and you looked at them, how many of them would have two siblings that jog? Now, even though there are less of them, there are only 400, that could simply be because uh, there are less people with two siblings, right? That's not what we're comparing. We're not saying, are there more, if this would answer the question, are there more joggers that have two siblings or more that have one sibling? Well, even though there are more joggers that have one sibling, so there's a higher probability there out of all the joggers that you'll find someone with one sibling, there it's only because there are more people that have one sibling, right? If you reverse it, so let's cross this out. This is the incorrect, right? If you reverse it, what we're saying here is, all right, what's the probability that you're a jogger if we know you have one sibling? So based on the number of siblings out of those ratios, how likely is it that you're jogging? And even though the number here is smaller, 400, is smaller than 416, it's out of a smaller sample set, so it's a higher probability. All right, I hope I didn't talk you in a circle right there. I hope that helped. Thank you.